الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی نہ محمد ولا علیہ و صحبہ و سلم مبعد ای الحب فاسٹنگ فار دا سیک آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی از سم تھنگ بٹوین دا سلیو اینڈ اللہ سبحان و تعالی مینگ بٹوین یو اینڈ آئی اینڈ اللہ تبارک و تعالی اینڈ دیٹ فاسٹنگ از فار اللہ Allah loves those people, the Sa'imun. Allah mentions them throughout the Qur'an. And all throughout the authentic sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, we hear hadiths and narrations and see examples and the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah that they fasted for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the reward is Jannah. The reward is the, the Bab of Rayyan, uh, Rayyan in Jannah. And, all the, uh, and it expiates your sins. And all the other... Fawaid and Fada'il of fasting. Ayyul Ahabba, let's listen to this hadith of Abi Sa'id, Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu about the importance of fasting and especially tatawa, you know, the extra fasting, the extra, the increase outside of the holy month of Ramadan which is an obligation upon us. Those times when it is recommended for us and when the reward is great. An Abi Sa'id radiyallahu ta'ala anhu أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من صام يوما في سبيل الله باعد الله وجهه عن النار سبعين خريفة رواه مسلم In this hadith of Sahih Muslim that was narrated by Abi Sa'id رضي الله تلا عنه The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that whoever fast one day في سبيل الله for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah will make his face uh, far from the hellfire by 70 kharifa. Ayu al habba this hadith illustrates for us the importance of fasting as much as we're able to, and the fasting of tatawa, you know, the extra fast. Why? Because all of the Muslims should fast the holy month of Ramadan. unless they have a legitimate excuse uh, for, for not fasting out of sickness or, or for health reasons or age. And so all of us should be concerned with gaining this great bounty from Allah. And this is a bounty as mentioned in this hadith in the akhirah, in the hereafter. And as believers, we believe in the hereafter. We've never seen Yom Al-Qiyamah, but we look forward to it. in as far as we look forward to hopefully gaining Jannah, paradise, and Jannah to Fardos. May Allah bless us with that. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And Ayu al Habba, so this hadith shows us that by fasting, one day fi sabilillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your face 40 kharifa min al-nar from the hellfire. And that's not something small. And all of us are in need of forgiveness. And all of us are in need of being away from the fire. And as the Prophet ﷺ said, كُلُّ إِبْنُ آدَمْ خَطَّ وَخَيْرًا خَطَّعِينَ تَوَابُونَ The Prophet ﷺ said, All the children of Adam, they sin. And the best of those who sin is those who repent. So be of those who repent, أَيُّ الْحَبَّ And those who fast and whose faces are made to be away from the hellfire on the day of judgment. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of them and to bless us to be of those who have no accounting on the hereafter. That enter Jannah, bi ghayri hisab, wala adhab. That enter the paradise without any punishment or any reckoning. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.